Wow. Wow. Okay, so I guess over the last week, the Washington Huskies decided we're not going to fix any of the problems we had against Utah, no. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to do all the same stuff we did against Utah. We're going to do it against Stanford, too. All the problems that we had against Utah, we're going to roll out the exact same problems against Stanford. Nothing gets worked on. Nothing gets addressed. Nothing gets changed. We're just going to do all the same stuff. And we're just going to assume that we can do the same thing in the second half that we did against Utah. Find a way to make enough plays to win after falling behind by three touchdowns. Because if this wasn't pretty much a mirror image of what we saw last week, then I don't know what it was. But the difference is, unfortunately, A, Stanford was able to make an extra play in the second half compared to Utah, and B, and most importantly, Stanford did a pretty good job staying with the game plan that was clearly working like a charm against this defense, which is running the ball, running the ball, running the ball. 31-26 to 26 Stanford, and it feels like it was worse than that, kind of like last week. It was 24-3 to 3 at half. And let me tell you, this game, it started... Stanford gets the ball. Touchdown. Next possession for Stanford. Touchdown. Next possession for Stanford. Touchdown. Next possession for Stanford. Field goal because they ran out of time in the half and had to kick a field goal. They were headed for a touchdown. You better believe it. First possession of the second half. Touchdown. So basically, the defense did nothing, and I mean nothing, right in the first five Stanford offensive possessions. They were all long drives. They all took several plays. They were all systemic and methodical. Just, just, I don't know. I don't know. And the defense, they're the side of the ball. I'm definitely going to put most of this game on, even though they did nut up a little bit at the end. They forced a punt in the third quarter they forced a turnover, the fumble that should have resulted in a touchdown, but, well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the offense a little later. <clears throat> they did nut up there, but when you start the game like that, 31 points in five possessions, only getting saved by the bell on the one field goal drive you allowed, and then on the final drive of the game, you can't get off the field. Third and long, give it up. Third and long, give it up. Third and medium, you give up just enough for them to go for it on fourth and short and pick it up. Just a complete defensive letdown. And ZTF was mostly invisible today. I think he had a couple QB pressures. I'm not going to say this is his fault. I'm not going to say I'm upset at him, but we didn't see much of him. I saw a little bit of Molden out there. I thought he played fine, but in general... Very little pressure, very little pressure from this defense on Davis Mills, who played a great game, by the way. I got to give him some credit. I think I may have undersold the Stanford offense a little bit because Davis Mills did not play against Oregon, and he's clearly a quality QB who probably could have put up at least a few points on Oregon. But regardless, this Stanford offense is not that good. <clears throat> and they dog walked us for the first 40 minutes of this game. Other than those two possessions that ended in a punt, ended in the fumble. They completely dog-walked us. Don't let the points fool you. Their final possession, they didn't need to score because they were trying to run out the clock, and they ran out the clock expertly, picking up two third and longs and a fourth and in inches. And don't even let the field goal fool you because, again, they ran out of time at half. They were driving. They would have got it in the touchdown if they had 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds, they're getting in the end zone. So yeah, defense couldn't stop the run. Almost 200 rushing yards allowed. Austin Jones killed them. They couldn't stop runs up the middle. They couldn't stop runs to the sidelines. They couldn't stop off tackle, off guard. Nothing. Nothing good. Couldn't tackle. Couldn't maintain their gaps. Couldn't just just undisciplined. Nothing positive. And the de the, the the pass defense, okay? The secondary. How many times was a Washington defender in position to make a play on the ball, and he just doesn't. He has pretty good coverage. 
He's near the receiver. He can stick his hand out there, knock the ball down. Doesn't do it. Sticks his hand out a quarter of a second too late. From the very first drive of the game, I was noticing that. Third down, they complete a pass to a tightly covered receiver, and the defensive back is just a quarter of a second late getting his hand in there to break it up. It wasn't until the end of this game, basically, that I started to see defensive backs actually successfully make plays on the ball. It took the whole game because they were in position to potentially make plays basically the whole game. They just didn't do it. So, yeah, <clears throat> nothing good. <clears throat> excuse me. Nothing good I can say about this defense. We gave up 31. It felt like we gave up 71. We may as well have given up 71 in this game for all I care. Stanford decided to play it slow and methodical, and that that was a great decision on their part because we couldn't stop the run. Five yards a pop, almost 200 yards, but, you know, when you do that, you're not going to score that fast. So 31 points is 31 points, but this defense did not give us a chance. And that doesn't mean I'm going to let the offense off the hook either. Running game still trash, and this Stanford run defense is not that good. That, that's what I really want to get at here when we're talking about this game. We were playing Stanford. Stanford is an average at best football team this year. So far, as near as we can tell, their offense is not that good. Their defense is not that good. So when you can't get it done against Stanford, you're not that good either. And obviously some things came together in the second half, but we never started running the ball that well until we started maybe doing some of those pitch plays to McGrew. Dylan Morris used his legs once or twice. I guess that was okay, but running, it just didn't work. We tried a couple of jet sweeps, and they were complete disasters, or basically jet sweeps, or end arounds, or however you want to put it. Didn't work at all. Complete mess. Offensive line sucked. Um, not only did they kind of suck in run blocking, they also picked up some penalties that took points off the board for the Huskies in the fourth quarter off that turnover. Which, by the way, we might still be watching foot. We might still be watching the game right now in overtime if that touchdown is allowed to stand. But our offensive line just <sighs> awful, terrible. Um, receivers, look, I got a bad feeling about this game when I saw that uh, Nasua and uh, Bynum were going to be out. I understand that those guys are probably our two best receivers right now, but. Whew, that doesn't mean it's not disappointing. Jalen McMillan dropped a pass. Odunzi dropped a pass. Not helping the quarterback out at all. And I'm not saying that Dylan Morris played a great game. He did miss some throws. He had an opportunity to hit Kate Otten wide open for a touchdown, long touchdown on what turned into a field goal drive. So if he hits that play, that's an extra four points on the board that we could have used later in this game. Um... I'm not saying Dylan Morris played a great game, but he needed a little extra help from his receivers today, and they were just not able to provide. Uh, Ty Jones, he had a monster game today. Two awesome catches deep down the field to set up scores. One of them one-handed. He looked like Jimmy Graham out there. Rome, he did have the drop, and that frustrated me, but he didn't play a bad game. Kate Otten, still making a couple plays for this offense, but it's not enough. It's not enough. When this offense can't run the ball at all like they couldn't today, it, it's just not going to work. So second half, we did do a little bit more. I will grant you that. But even then, man, like <laughs> you needed to score a touchdown off that turnover. And the reason why we didn't, I put it almost entirely on this offensive line, which was on that drive especially a complete embarrassment. I'm not absolving Dylan Morris of anything in this game because he didn't play great, but I don't think this is really on him. The rushing attack, what uh, the special teams. I mean, Peyton Henry hits a long field goal, 45-yard field goal, and I was amazed. I was like, wow, if Peyton Henry can make that 45-yard field goal, I believe we're going to find a way to win this game. I believe we're going to find a way to win this game. Peyton Henry's making a 45-yard field goal, I believe in anything. But we still lost the special teams battle. We still couldn't stop the kickoff returns. Stanford had like four good kickoff returns today. What happened to kicking it into the end zone, guys? That put up put us behind the eight ball. I don't know if it would have mattered because the defense was so sad today, but we couldn't even win the special teams battle. And, you know, I know it's only 31 points, but given context, I have to reevaluate 
everything on this defense up to and including the head coach. The players, I know ZTF's good. I know Molden's good. Everyone else, I don't know. Because again, guys like McDuffie, although he did an awesome strip today on um, Jones, Austin Jones, had an awesome strip on him. I'm not seeing the plays in coverage on the ball. I'm seeing them be in position to make a play and then just not make the play. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with our run defense because Stanford's not even that good of a rushing team this year. I'm questioning everything on this defense with the exception of the two studs because, look, I'm not saying they played especially well today or anything like that, but they're still good. Um, offensively, I don't know. The team is just not that good right now. We did. We can't pull this garbage two weeks in a row, and and for and I can't sit here and act like oh the team is still really good, because they almost won. No, no. Um, yeah, I'm questioning everything right now. Play calling, eh, better than last week. I will admit that. Not as disastrous as last week. I wasn't in love with it, but I didn't completely hate it like I did last week. But yeah, in terms of actual positives from this game. Really hard to find anything. I can find some players who weren't bad, like Sean McGrew. I don't think Dylan Morris was bad. Ty Jones obviously made some awesome plays down the field. Kate Otten, I think he did everything he could. But this was a huge eye-opener for me. This team is not nearly as good as I thought. And I, I didn't think they were amazing or anything like that. I didn't believe they were some great team all of a sudden. But you get dog walked by Stanford for 40 minutes and then your miracle comeback attempt comes short I have to question everything all right that's that's what I got um tough day future videos coming but this was not a good way to go into that Oregon game and right now my prediction for that Oregon game would probably have to be more pain because this defense can't stop a nosebleed right now any smart team will just run the ball against us every play and pile up seven yards a pop all right Peace out. Bow down to Washington, but uh, ugly, ugly game today. I, I got nothing positive to take away from that one. Peace.